So, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of my speculation news and update. Now, I'm sorry this took a while for me to make, but uh, for one, it's really long to make, okay? And for two, uh, I didn't realize there was as much in the trailer for Nuclear World as there was, so sorry about that. So, um, before I get into anything, I just also want to say that I put so much work into this, like, and it was all, like, hard work, and towards the end, I rushed it a little bit, but at the same time, it was the best I could do, because I, I can't do anything, like, um, Photoshop and stuff like that, so I couldn't do much more than what I could, uh, what I just did, and I spent about two hours or so doing the script alone, you know, for the, uh, for the speculation, for the hidden details, and then I probably spent like an hour getting all the photos and that, and then probably I'll spend an hour on editing in the photos and stuff like that. So yeah, um, <clears throat> um, hit that like button please, because I put so much hard work into this. Um, share it, stuff like that. Do whatever you can. It's just I work so hard on this that I just don't want you to ignore. It, if you know what I mean, almost. Anyway, uh, if you click on the video and you're hearing this, uh, I'm already grateful for you anyway. So, um, let's actually start it. Um, what they showed us. They showed us a 1 minute and 43 second trailer. And it's crazy that I managed to make something that's probably going to be like a couple. Like a good bit, you know. Anyway, uh, what we've seen in the trailer. We see a castle of sorts in the background and you see loads of massive nuclear bottles. Then it cuts to a mannequin drinking Nuka Cola with a Nuka Cola t shirt. Also, in the background, you see a Nuka Cola drink. It is orange and it sort of looks like it's themed patriotically because I zoomed in on it myself. Plus, it looks like it entered TO ish, that journal sort of thing. It could be Nuka Cola Victory, uh, I, but I wouldn't be surprised if they, it was something new because. This would be the time to introduce it, you know, we're in Nuka World. Um, it could be the new flavor called Fizz Top Grill, which is shown later in the trailer. Um, uh, I, I started second guessing that part because I realized it, that just something threw me off. I can't remember what it was, but anyway, I figured I, I'd throw that in anyway. It shows us this ride. That's really much, that's all there is to say about that. A uh, place called the World Refreshments, which looks like a river quantum, which I'll explain a little bit more later. The Meyer Lurk is Nuka Cola Quantum Colored, which I imagine will be similar to Nuka Lurks, which we have seen in the uh, Nuka Factory or whatever in Fallout 3. Uh, we then see a raider wearing a uh, new armor or a new gameplay feature, which is paint and armor or, and or weapons, which is, which this theory is supported by several clips, but could just be a unique weapon and armor sort of thing. He also seems to be holding something that could potentially be a Chinese assault rifle. He also seems to be near a place called Fizz Top Grill, because in the background you can see a sign that says that. It then shows us playing hoops, hoop shot. Uh, whack-a-mole, which I can't see why you can't take the whack-a-mole mallet uh, and use it on enemies, so I don't just think it's for whack-a-mole, but you never know. Um, this game, There's a game called Atomic Rollers, Another ride, a carousel with giddy up buttercups, a Ferris wheel, a shooting range mini game, a Nuka Cola power armor, the entrance to a place uh, called Nuka Galaxy. Then they show that you can ro uh, ride a roller coaster in the same scene, uh, that you can see a Mr. Handy in the background. They show a little monorail or tram. Another roller coaster. You then see an 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 anatomic or whatever you know, like a, a Friday nights of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's sort of thing. Um, Nuka Cola bottle. A darker themed uh, mansion, almost like it's haunted. We then see the entrance to Kitty Kingdom. 
also, real quick, wouldn't it be awesome if Kitty Kingdom was like the lamplight? Then they show us inside Kitty Kingdom, which you can see a uh, sign that says Fun House. And then I think you go inside, and there are ghouls in there. Because in the next uh, clip, they show ghouls, and this floor it seems like something that you would see in a Fun House. It really does. Um. There is a teacup ride with ghouls near, and some ghouls seem to be quantum ghouls, like the Mario Lurk or the Nuka Lurk. Uh, they also show you the Safari Zone, I can't remember what it's actually called. Um, you can see a raider that is dressed up like a tribal, which is pretty cool because the different zones will have different style outfits almost, so that's awesome. Then you see a bear statue. Uh, which is nowhere near the highlight of the scene. The highlight is mutate crocodile thing or alligator or which whatever the fuck it is. Then there's a two-headed bull, maybe I can't tell. A bull, a ram, a goat, I don't know. But it's new. There is also a weapon that looks like a painted super sledge. But it could be a new weapon. Then it goes into goes to a new area which looks like the center of the park which I was looking at the overall actual layout and I don't think it is but it does look like it would be ideal for center but I don't know what else to say about this then you see a nuclear cola quantum power armor oh well, I don't know if it is nuclear cola quantum power armor all I know is it's the power armor that's blue then it goes to a theater or a bumper car place I think it's honestly a theater because the sign, like, a uh, thing in the background looks more like a theatre. And the things in the side could be, like, cars in a drive-in theatre. Anyway. Uh, it shows a Nuka Cola robot exploding some shit. Then it goes to a Wild West, West-ish feeling place once again. Um, wait, I actually remember what this one's called. Once again, the outfits seem more Wild West-ish. And a few buildings are open for exploring. By the way, I believe this is called the, sorry, um, uh, Dry Rock Gulch. Now, back at the world, no, 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 uh, there is a new enemy, I don't even know how to begin to describe it, so, yeah. There are also, there also seems to be a new gun, which I can only describe as maybe the return of the dark gun. Uh, because that's what it looks like, a more advanced dark gun. Now back at the World of Refreshments, there seems to be a banner that says Now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum Like I said earlier And to the side, it says Nuka Cola Orange So that could be that new flavor, like I said, or it could be Nuka Cola Victory Or maybe it's the same thing, I don't know You then see more Raiders in some new outfits Or new face paint, or maybe it's not a new at all, and it could just be Raiders I just figured I'd point them out then it cuts to two important looking people, people, um, sorry, uh, wearing unique or new outfits, people that respect it, this could be Sierra Petrovita and Ronald Lauren from Girder Shade, Fallout Tree. Um, it then shows m more raiders in new outfits, and a slave, that is, I'll be happy to be a slave, but this has me wondering, can you be a slaver again? It then shows a place called Nuka Town. There seems to be a place called Nuka Cade. So this could be the arcade. Then it cuts to a statue of Cappy and a bottle, which if you look to your left, you can see that most of the sign, uh, depending on what part of the trailer you're at, um, it says Nuka Cade. And when it goes, and a person's standing outside of it. And when it goes to the, like, because it turns from the left side of the statue to the right side. When it turns to the right side, you can see a building that's sort of more raider looking-ish. And says, the power. And then that's all you see. Then it cuts to us shooting Cappy with a sniper rifle. Sort of assault rifle, I think. Our character could have a new hairstyle. Definitely has a new outfit here. You can build with new assets. I uh, like statues of copy and bottle and other Nuka Cola themed items and theme park items. 
if you look to your right, there, uh, there's a, like a shop that says uh, Bandit Roundup, which this could be the recruiting station for bandits, you know, it could be like the, the, what's it, the, the little station you set up, you know, the radio beacon to get uh, people, um, settlers in. Well, maybe you could do something like that, but getting raiders. Um... It looks like you design uh, your like settlements like the Wild West or Kitty Kingdom or just the theme park, like the northern parts. Um, there's also a new weapon like a paddle ball. Um, by the way, it's just a paddle ball. The reason why that one said that's cute is there's a mod on it. It says in the bottom right, in case you're wondering. Uh, it looks like there's a new civilization of raiders, maybe. Then it cuts to us attacking Sanctuary Hills with a unique camo on your gun. Which could in fact be the paint job thing that I was referring to earlier. And the guy to your left has a Viking-ish helmet. Uh, there seems to be a new flag called the Raider Signal flag. So I guess once you take it over you stick that up. So Raiders don't attack it anymore probably. Something like that. Um... There is also a new mask that's white with an orange beak, like a bird almost. And a sort of a Joker-ish looking one in the background. Um, there also seems to be aliens that could be robots, but it looks like uh, we're getting more alien blaster ammo at the least. Shit, sorry about this. Um, I pressed the wrong button on the thing. Oh, there we go. Then it shows you new power armor that's like Tesla or power armor, but it's being showed off in the bumper car place. I know this for factors. You can see the actual things around it, or bumper car-ish style place. Then it shows us even more and new enemies and a new knife, I believe. Maybe that's not new though. Maybe it's I've been in the game all along and just like a certain upgrade to the knife. Um, then there's a guy in a fancy outfit throwing smoke bombs and disappearing. I'm guessing he's a pre war magician that got mutated into a glowing ghoul, the glowing ones, you know that, but didn't quite go feral. There's also some flying insects that gang up on you. Um, there's this weird trampoline almost thing. So another little ride. Um, it shows us a car train thing. Um, run over ghouls, and then it shows us a big town marketplace thing. So that's all, um, what is it? What we've seen in the trailer. Uh, let's now move on to what we can. What we can conclude. Sorry, this took um, a cut out there. I just decided, you now I'll stop the mic thing and then turn it back on in case it glitched. Or something like that, you know, just just so it, it doesn't have any problems and just to test if it was everything was okay and it's grand. And anyway, we're back. What we can conclude: there are at least four new weapons. Uh, I was thinking five, but then the sniper rifle could be a modified assault rifle from earlier to shoot in a burst of one. But you never know. It, I don't know. Anyway. There is definitely new apparel, I don't even know what to say other than that on the apparel, I couldn't count how much new apparel there is, because that's just something that they throw out left, right, and center, and they uh, throw in the little cool ones every now and then, you know, in the trailers, but they show a lot of them, normally. Um, where's the next thing? There are at least about seven enemies, or seven new, like, mobs, you know, like, uh, animals. Um, don't forget all the NPCs you can start fights with, hopefully all of them, and you're not restricted that, so that you have to help them. Um, you can use rides and play games, so that's pretty awesome. And at least three new power armors, the Tesla, the Norman, you could call it, that's right. And I think it's a new, could call the Quantum style one as well. Um, slavers are somewhat returning. But that's pretty awesome. Uh, the Quantum River could play a bigger role than we think. Oh no, sorry, 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 let's back up. This is speculation on the trailer now. Uh, the slavers are somewhat returning. 
is what we can conclude and uh, now it's speculation on trailer on the trailer the quantum river could play a bigger role than we think uh, there could be a nuclear cola drink there could be a new nuclear cola drink you might be able to be a slaver again that the fancy guy could be a pre-war musician that got mutated into a glow in one ghoul and could have his own little side quest or it could be the main story we don't know that Kitty Kingdom is like the lamplight, maybe. Um, you can now paint your weapons, maybe, and your armor in a certain way. That that would be pretty cool to add in. You know, like a camo almost. Um, you can get tickets from winning the games and mini games and stuff like that, and exchange them for new items. That we did not see. Maybe that's how you have to get the paddle ball. You know, Sierra Petrovita. And Ronald Lyon from Greater Shade could be returning. And that's really it when it comes to speculation on the trailer. And this is a new one that I just added in because I just noticed it. I noticed it's stupid. But the soundtrack, it gives away its own little things in it. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut down the parts that I thought were really important in the soundtrack. And that's really it. So... In this song, uh, the when you're at the nuclear cola, uh, at the place of refreshment, or whatever, it says uh, the river is made of quantum. So I guess it is our quantum river. Um, and then when you go to that fizz top mountain place, it says the mountains are fizz. So maybe they could erupt like a volcano or something and erupt. And like spill out like Nuka Cola or something. Maybe it's just like a thing that they say. Maybe it used to be that before the war, but they're like they're not gonna have that do it in the game. I don't know. Uh, it could be anything. That's pretty awesome. That could be important in some way or another. And that's really it. Soundtrack rise. So, there, it's looking very promising. I could not squeeze this much out of Fire Harbor 1. I, I really couldn't. Although, maybe if I sat down and actually looked at them, I could. I didn't really think properly about the Fire Harbor 1, personally. But, anyway. Um, that's really it for the uh, speculation. What we can conclude. What we saw in the trailer. What they showed us. Everything like that. So, um, that's it. This is, like, the end. So thank you guys for watching, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and peace.